Play Van Aver itself looks at what the museum is in the 21st century and how we uh, work with our collection and our history as a museum. So this precisely concentrates on, in two aspects, the collection of politics is how the politics of the world, how we perceive the politics at any given moment, is collected by a museum. And the second thing is, the second thing and I think the important aspect is, um, what are the politics that inform collecting itself? Why do we collect certain things and not others? And um, there's an interesting ongoing research project um, which looks very precisely at this question. Certainly the works that were collected immediately after the Second World War and where they came from, their provenance, um, is an important question, I think, in, in, in the cultural field at the moment. What is our responsibility towards the works whose, whose owners uh, disappeared or the, the track records of the ownership disappeared in the period when a lot of property was looted by the invading armies of, in Western Europe during that period? And what is our responsibility today towards that? I think that's, a, that's, a, that's an important question and it's one that's not finalised, it's not, it's not decided upon. Um, so it's an open question that needs to be, needs to be explored. That's part of the, the, the politics of collecting. But also the politics of collecting looks at how we collected in, in, in relationship to uh, a geographic uh, um, a spread of the collection. So for instance, we call ourselves always an international museum and yet over the half, half the works in the collection come from the Netherlands, America and Germany three countries. It's, uh, so internationalism meant at different times very different things and probably until 1989 and even afterwards, certainly in our collection, there was almost no representation for three quarters of the world. Um, so how did we collect um, the, in, in gender relationship, how did we collect uh, men and women? We actually collected 91% of men in the collection and 9% of women. Now does that represent creativity? Uh, is, that, is that about this, this very problematic word quality? In other words, are men 91% of the quality of visual art and women only 9%? Or does that represent a social and a political condition which we're simply reflecting on in the collection? I think we know the answer to that, it's the latter. Um, so um, all these, these questions I think are, 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 are um, asked in the, in the displays that we make in the museum to understand what the background is to what seems to be a question only of taste, only of an idea of this quality, a question of this art is good and therefore we collect it. Um, but actually that behind that idea of good lies all sorts of assumptions about who is in charge and who is not in charge, about who carries the, the flame of the avant-garde or of modernism and who doesn't, wh whether it's a white man sitting in the Netherlands or an Indonesian woman sitting in Jakarta, is a very different kind of relationship to those stories. And I think that's what we want to tell in the exhibition as well.